Hey, I'm Isaac Kotek, and in this video, I'm going to be showing off Odyssey. Now, I found Odyssey because the guys over at Mixing Keys. I watch whatever they do because they seem to make a lot of tools that make it very quick and easy for people to jump into music production. They're thinking of new, cool ways of viewing music theory to make it a lot simpler and more approachable. So here we go. Here's the program, and here's a little sketch that I put together in, like, let's say, three minutes. Now the reason I like this program is it's kind of like a sketch generator for your music production. It's a really fast and easy way to come up with. You see in the blue, this is the chord progression. In the green, this is the melody. And then we've got the bass here. And then at the very bottom, we've got the drum pattern. And it's super quick to create this. And the reason this is cool is if I created a chord progression I liked, but I wanted to change the key, all I have to do is come up here and I can say, let's go with D, something totally different. Let's go with blues minor. Now let's play that. And then here's back in E minor. So let me create a sketch and then I'll talk about more about why I really like this as a program. So I go into my projects. I can create a new project new one all right now the second you come in here over on this side if i shrink that we've got acapella or audio that we can throw in here chords melody bass line and drums so if i say chords let's change this to d dorian cool and i can pick and add a new chord progression and down in here we can pick the chords. This is using a little bit of music theory about the first, third, position, fifth, whatever. But these are all chords that already work really well, resolve, and fit great into your production. So let's pick something like that. And then once you have it, One of the cool things is we can change the rhythmic pattern here. And they've got a bunch of pre-made ones. So we've got piano chord, piano man. Got big room. There's a bunch, as you can see. So I'm gonna go back to something a little bit more simple. I really like the Piano Man. So we're gonna pick with that one, right? Great, once I got the chord, that's kind of the beginning of all the other elements that I can add to it. And what I mean by that is if I go over to something like Bass Line and we add a Bass Line, the Bass Line is being automatically generated compared to these chords. It's the same sort of thing. We can go in here and we can change the rhythm. You'll notice there's even a piano man here. That's if you want the same rhythm, but we can come in here and pick another one. And I can also come in and draw something. Now we got a bass line, let's go with a melody. We click melody, add a melody. And we've got all these different options. We've got the root pitch as being where it starts from, but we can change all sorts of things. We can arpeggiate. And go through this until you find something you like. Now 
And we can again come in here, we can draw. We can draw notes if we wanted to, edit it just like any other DAW. And then finally, I'm gonna shrink that, I'm gonna add drums. And let us add something like, I like 707 on here. Sweet. Well, now that I have all these different elements, it's very easy for me to change things. I can come in, press this chord, go to the chord shape. Let's go with something totally different. And what happens is it actually changes the bass line compared to the, nor the new chord movement. See how that's a different note now? So you can see how it's very quick and easy to be like, okay, I'm gonna change this to something totally different. Let's hear that. It changed the arpeggiator as well as the bass lines to fit that. So I really view this as a sketch generator. If you wanna generate really quick chord progressions, maybe you don't know too much about music theory, or maybe you do and you just want a very quick and easy way to come up with an idea. You can open up Odyssey, come up with a whole bunch of sketches in terms of melodic movements, chordal movements, things like that, and then you can export this as a MIDI so I'm going to export the full track, and I'm just going to put it on my desktop as new one. All right. Then I can open up Ableton. Shrink these guys. Take the new one. Drag it into live, and bam, there it is in session view. Or I'm just going to tab it over, put it in arrangement. Now, right now, I don't have any sound. All I have to do is come over into something like my drums. Let's pick an 808, throw that in. And then I can start doing all sorts of things like throwing in my own sounds. Cool, and then I'm gonna add some new ones over into here. I can start adding my own VSTs, or you can do instrument racks, everything natively within whatever DAW you use, but I use Ableton. So I'm gonna throw in something like piano keys. And there we go, now all my elements have a sound. And once it's in here, I can do things to really start building out my sketch. Something like, I'm gonna add a new loop in here. and then build and build and build whatever my track is. So you can see how this is a very quick generator of ideas that you can throw into live and start playing with them. And I can bust out a bunch of these. Give me like three to five minutes with these chord movements, writing a quick little melody, throwing it into live. You can also within this program record melody with a controller. Um, when you start getting the more advanced features like putting in audio, recording on a MIDI, I feel that's best done over in live or DAW personally. I think this is mainly a really good collection of chords that you can quickly change both the rhythms and the chord movement and then throw in some moving bass lines with it. See if you want to change the scales, anything like that. It's very quick and easy to move things around. Cool, there you go, that's Odyssey. I hope you can see how this can be incredibly helpful in your music production to make it a little bit quicker, more approachable to those who don't know a lot about music theory, and you can just dive right in. You also have massive amounts of advanced features if you have a, kind of more of a depth around music production. You can come in here, make it a ninth, so now we have an extra ninth movement there, and we can get more and more complex. 
So that'll increase the amount of sounds. And yeah, you can you can dive into this and, and get quick ideas out and into your DAW. So this is Odyssey by Mix and Key. Check it out. Also check out more videos, reviews, information around music theory and all that at my website, sabiquismusic.com. And thanks for checking this out.